Welcome to Teach Me Animated Math. In this solve along video, we'll be simplifying expressions with zero exponent. If this concept doesn't look familiar to you, then I suggest that you first watch our explainer video on integer exponents. You can find the link in the description below. There will be a three second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video and solve it on your own first, or just watch the video straight. All right, let's start solving. Based on the property of zero exponent, any non-zero real number with a zero exponent is one. So five to the zeroth power is equal to one. The base for the exponent of zero is x, not 5x. The product of 5 and x to the zeroth power is 5 times 1, or 5. The base for the exponent of zero is 5x. By definition, the base 5x raised to the zeroth power is equal to 1. This can be a little bit tricky. The base for the exponent of 0 is 4, not negative 4. So, 4 to the zeroth power is 1. And the product of negative 1 and 1 is equal to negative 1. The base for the exponent of 0 is negative 4. This means that the whole expression is equal to 1. The base for the exponent of 0 is 13. So, 13 to the 0th power is equal to 1. The base for the exponent of 0 is z, not 72z. The product of 72 and z raised to the 0th power is 72 times 1. Or 72. The base for the exponent of 0 is 100z. By definition, the base 100z raised to the 0th power is equal to 1. Don't be intimidated by this big number. Similar to an earlier problem we solved. The base for the exponent of 0 is 213, not negative 213. So, 213 to the 0th power is 1. And the product of negative 1 and 1 is equal to negative 1. Again, don't give in to the intimidation of big numbers. The base for the exponent of 0 is negative 365. This means that the expression is equal to 1. And there you have it. I hope you learned a lot in this solve along video about zero exponents. We recognize that the best way to fully understand math concepts is by answering exercises. So be sure to check out the next solve along video about negative exponents. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.